Hi boys and girls. Today we're gonna to be looking at lesson two, scarcity and trade. And this begins on page 116. In the last lesson, you read about buyers and sellers. Aaron is a buyer. He wants to buy the new SuperQuest video game, but it has been sold out for weeks. So look at the, the illustration here and then use the picture to explain what is happening on these pages. So this page, and then we'll read about this one and look at what's happening in this one too. Aaron is bummed because none of the stores have any games left to sell. Poor Aaron. Right now, he's asking Mrs. Mann if she knows when the game will be available. Down here in this box, it says, what would you do if you wanted to buy something and it was sold out? So maybe you've had an experience like that before. If you have, you can write about that. Or if you haven't, think about what you would do if you wanted something and it was sold out. Supply, demand, and scarcity. Unfortunately for Aaron, the Super Quest game is very popular right now. A lot of people want to buy it and the stores don't have enough for everyone who wants it. The demand for the video game is high. Demand is the number of people who want or need something. Go ahead and highlight that definition of demand. This helps us understand why Aaron can't find the video game. Another problem is that the factory didn't make enough SuperQuest games for everyone who wants one. This means that the supply of the video game is low. Supply is the amount of something that is available. Go ahead and highlight that definition as well. Now we see why SuperQuest is so hard to find. A lot of people are buying the game, so demand is high. The factory didn't make very many games, so the supply is low. Aaron is learning a tough lesson in economics. You can't always buy what you want when you want it. This text box here says, what are some products you want to buy that are in high demand? So go back up and remember what demand means. Something that a number of people, a lot of people want it. And then think about some things that you want that are in high demand and go ahead and list those here. When there is a low supply of an item, we say the item is scarce. Scarcity is when an item is difficult to find or get. When a product that you want to buy is scarce, you have to make choices. The people selling the scarce product might charge a high price for it. Do you pay the high price or do you wait until the price goes down? Maybe you decide not to buy the product at all. Okay, so we can underline that important information. People selling the scarce product might charge a high price for it. You have to make a choice. Do you pay the high price or you decide not to buy the product? Another choice might be to trade for the item you want. To trade means to give one item in return for something else. Let's highlight that. When things are scarce, people may trade with each other for items they want or need. So here it says, imagine that you have a super quest game that you will trade with Aaron. Draw what you would accept from him in return. Okay, take a look at this map up here. Products traded in the United States. 
and think about what information can you learn from this map. Think about how we can look at the key to give us more information about what's happening in the map. And go ahead and complete that box. Trade in the United States. Trade isn't just for toys and video games. Our state of Florida trades for products too. Let's highlight that, that's important. Florida is known for growing citrus fruits such as oranges. Because oranges grow well in Florida, people can easily find them in our stores and markets. But other products are not as easy to find in Florida. They are scarce. How do we get these scarce items to Florida? We trade for them. We sell the products we have and we buy the products we need. Let's highlight that. That's important. So while we eat products such as cheese, wheat, or beef from other states, people in those states eat oranges grown in Florida. So let's just underline or highlight some of those things that we trade. Resources and trade. We trade for scarce resources too. One example of a scarce resource is oil. Let's highlight that. It is only found in certain areas of the world and there is a limited supply. We use oil for many different things, including gas for our cars and trucks. Florida has very little oil, so we have to trade with other states or even countries to get this scarce resource. Highlight that important information as well. Let's read these Florida orange facts. Florida grows 75% of the oranges in the United States. Oranges are called seedless when they have five seeds or less. 40% of all orange juice in the world comes from Florida oranges. Most oranges float, but oranges with a lot of sugar in them sink. Okay, let's look at the essential question. The essential question is how does scarcity affect trade? So we're going to restate our question. Scarcity affects trade. And then you're going to go back and look in your text about what we read about scarcity and trade, and then complete that question.